Hello, Outpour East here, OutpourEast.com, Outpour Outdoors. I know that's a mouthful, but you'll get used to it. Today, we are going to be talking about this Chinese center pin that you can get on Amazon, eBay, probably Wish, all those places. And the title of this video is not clickbait. I think that this is the best center pin on the market. Why do I think this is the best center pin on the market? Because of the price. Because of the price and comparing this center pin to center pin reels that are $200, $300, and up, $400, $500, and what this center pin does in comparison to those same center pins, and I paid $50 for this one. Now, I wanna say this in the beginning of the video, don't get me wrong, those center pins are gorgeous, they're beautiful, they work great. Some of them have the paint job of Snoop Dogg's Impala. They're machined perfectly. On the back of them, there's beautiful art murals, and all of that is great. And if you're into that, spend the $500. You work hard for your money. If it's worth it to you, do it. All I'm saying is that this center pin right here is going to get the job done. And at the end of the day, that bait is going to drift past those fish at the speed it's supposed to and do what it's supposed to do. So let's talk about this center pin a little bit more. So my friends, here's the pin. I've used three pins. I had an Okuma, Okuma Raw 2. I have a Colville Outfitters. Um, revolver that's a, a five inch. This center pin is four and three quarters, so it's pretty large. And I also had one from Amazon that was four and one quarter. One thing I have to tell you guys about these center pins is that the clicker in them is trash. It sucks pretty bad. Um, what I do, is I just remove it completely. <laughs> There's just a piece of metal that goes right here and goes to the clicker. What I found was, is that the clicker was going off when I didn't want it to, because it's just cheaply made, but, but what do you expect, you know? I have a way that I combat that, and I'm gonna show you how I do it at the end of the video. Another thing is that when the clicker was in there, it's a very weak clicker. Um, the clicker on my Colville is very strong, but I mean, it still moves when I don't want it to move. So I actually use the same method that I use with this center pin with my Colville center pin as well. Other than the clicker problem, this is a wonderful pen. It works really well. And again, it's personal opinion. I was out with my CPR reel, got a fish hooked. I'm fighting the fish. I was fishing a tributary that has a lot of sand, a lot of rock. And uh, you know, sand is like the devil to these things. And I get the fish close in and, I, and I'm, I'm looking around and I'm like, man, I gotta land this fish. Where do I put this rod down? Literally all I could think about is I just spent $300 for a used reel, mind you. I don't want to put it down to land the fish. And, and that's that's how I was like thinking. That was my mindset. Like, where am I gonna set this down? Which in my opinion, hands down, means I shouldn't be using that reel. Me personally, I don't want to think about my gear like that. I want to see my gear as the tool that is gonna get me that fish. That's all I want to see it as. If I want to throw the rod down real quick, I want to be able to to land that fish. So I'm gonna stop talking because I'm just gonna keep ranting. Just know if you're thinking about ordering one of these reels, go ahead, try it. What do you have to lose? You're out 50 bucks. And to tell you the truth, the other one that I ordered from Amazon, I threw it on Craigslist and I sold it for the same exact amount. So that's pretty much the gist of it. I'm gonna show you real quick how I combat the clicker problem. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take your rod and you're gonna wanna throw a hair tie right on here. You can throw it down here or, or above, it doesn't matter. And then you just, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take that hair tie and you're gonna pull it over one of those handles, which is, um, it's actually a hack that I, that I saw on YouTube. I totally forgot what video I saw it on. But they weren't talking about these pins specifically. They were talking about any pin, just any pin. It works for any pin. If you're walking on the river or if you just wanna store it and you don't wanna take your rig, off of your rod this is really great this is a really great way to do this so guys thank you so much for tuning in i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope it 
I hope it helped you guys in making the decision whether you're gonna buy this reel or not. I looked for videos on these reels and I didn't find a video on this reel. If you have any questions about this reel specifically, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments. And if you found this video helpful in any way, please like, please subscribe. I'm gonna be making a ton of videos out on the river um, when it gets nicer outside. I'm gonna make them on the lakes, on the ponds, you know, and uh, I get out on my boat, I fish a lot. All my friends fish and, and you know, we're just gonna have a blast. So thank you so much, God bless.